right, we got a big one today, Sunday, June 18th. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, including my own. Thank you for all the big Thunder Mountain rides as a kid, even though you're not exactly the biggest roller coaster fan. He rode Guardians this year. I'm proud of him. So shout out my dad, all the dads out there. Speaking of dads, the most famous roller coaster dad of all time, The Beast. All jokes aside, if you want to talk historic, legendary roller coaster, there isn't that many out there in the world that can top the beast. You thought, if you thought of Kings Island in the 80s and the 90s, you thought of the beast. Listen to these stats, guys. It opened in 1979, 110 feet tall, but 141 foot drop. That means terrain, 65 miles per hour. And here's the kicker, 7,361 feet of track. That is the longest wooden roller coaster in the world, the longest roller coaster in the United States, and the second longest in the world. Period, only topped by Steel Dragon in Japan. Legendary, I use iconic, legendary, Hall of Fame a lot. The Beast fits all those words to a T. 44 years old this year, and he actually recently did a lot of track work. So supposedly this thing is running better than ever. My wife and I got a ride on it two years ago. I liked it more than her, I think. It's, I didn't like, go gaga about it but i still liked it so if it's even running better could be good could be good this thing has one of the best night rides of all time think voyage boulder dash outlaw run this is right up there with all those guys the beast probably if you were to rank like top five most historic roller coasters in the u.s this is on that list easily 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 it's all tucked in the way in the woods you're gonna get hardly any off-ride because you can unless you get like a walk-back tour. You can't see any of this thing except for the lift hill from anywhere in the park, which is awesome. All in the woods. It's gonna be very similar to Boulder Dash in that aspect. So I've been talking a lot because you know what? The Beast deserves a lot of conversation. So let's start this Father's Day with a ride on the Beast. If you don't know how to get to the beast, just follow the bear prints or the beast prints, I guess. All the way to the coaster. Kings Island, yet another beautiful touch. And yes, that is my shadow. Oh, beast, the beast, the beast, the beast. Oh. All right, a little full disclosure time. I did get a night ride. I was actually here last night, a bunch of friends. Got my first ever night ride on the beast. So we're gonna take that into consideration tell this journey because this ride is a journey it's almost two roller coasters in one it's not almost it's two roller coasters in one you start up that super slow lift hill and then it's just a great first drop super smooth the track work they did on this thing is incredible incredible well done king's island oh anyway first great first drop then it's just nothing but speed through the woods it's fantastic. You know how much I raved about Boulder Dash, just being in the woods, not being able to see the rest of the park, except for Ryan a little bit. It's just pure speed. It's not an airtime machine. This is not an airtime machine other than maybe the first drop. Then he hit that second lift. That's right. There's two lift hills on the beast. And then you hit these massive, beautiful, insanely intense helixes with great tunnels, Two helixes back to back. Finally, the ride ends. You're on that train for like a good four minutes. <laughs> you absolutely feel that it is the longest wooden roller coaster in the world. My God. Like I said, I liked my first ride. I loved my rides today. The night ride is unreal. Unreal. Better night ride than Boulder Dash, which is crazy because that's my home park. I still, let's not walk into the sun. Again, haven't done Voyage for the channel yet. Voyage is still the best night ride, easily. And I still need to do Outlaw Run as well. <sighs> that night ride was magic. Shout out, Cedar Kev, Kevin from the Thunderhead Review. 
It's my riding buddy. I'll never forget that ride, man. <laughs> but then, and then the day rides today were just... I did not think that the beast is gonna get a score from Coaster 365 of 8.65. Yeah, yeah, it's running, guys, it's running that good this year. It is not rough at all. Maybe a little bit on the Helix, but uh, you want that in a wooden roller coaster. <sighs> I did not think, I, when I got to King's Isle, I did not think I would be raving about the beast. I thought that would be maybe, I don't know, my fourth or fifth favorite roller coaster here. And it's, it's gonna be higher than that, that's for sure. <laughs> we still have some more to do. But, oh, what a Father's Day. The Beast getting a super high score, a deserved high score. That is it. Hope you enjoyed that review. I know there are a few of the diehard historic nostalgia people. Hopefully I'm pleasing them with that one. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Happy Father's Day, one more time. We'll do it again tomorrow.